Most things in CSGO don't surprise me. This one did though. It should be pretty obvious that there is something wrong, but what is it? Well, I believe it has to do with the difference between the model I see and where the server sees the player, but perhaps more accurately where the server sees the hit bubbles, which I'll just call the hitbox for the rest of the video. In CSGO, before sometime in September 2015, there was a glitchier, bulkier version of the hitboxes that had horrible differences between the client and the server. When the new update that fixed this came out, it was a bit hard to measure how close the model was with its hitbox. A way around this is using SV underscore show lag compensation, which I think Think is able to give the server hitbox of the player. This will become evident later on. The problem with it is that it's always been super hard to see what it's exactly showing, but when I made a P250 laser gun, downloaded in the description, I was able to make a pretty accurate live updater of the hitbox when compared to the model. The model itself will be used as a client hitbox, as it seems that the client is always able to see if you shoot on the model, shown with the red client bullets always hitting when you aim on it, except with the separate glitch which DevonDTV TV covered. For the demonstrations of this video, I played mostly offline. It will be on this map if it's with a friend. Additionally, I removed the spread or an accuracy of the op and P250 and put in these commands to remove any recoil or inaccuracy that could occur. This was a timing for SV underscore lag compensation, and I used SV underscore show impacts occasionally, which you'll see. If the impact is blue, that's where the bullet landed for the server, and if it's red, that's where it landed for the client. First, let's look at hitboxes while jumping. It's the worst out of the movements I measured, and I'm pretty confident to call it a major issue. Believe me, it's not as bad as all old hitboxes. That's obvious. But I can predictively aim completely off the player and be able to register a headshot and predictively aim on the player without a doubt and miss, which can completely change a real game engagement. There are a few consistent places where the hitbox strays away from the model. First is when a player begins to jump. It appears to be worse whenever you look more diagonal than when you jump straight at someone, and this can be abused pretty badly. If the blue dot lands where you shot, but the red one goes on the back wall, that means it hit the server hitbox, the hitbox that counts when it comes to doing damage, and not the client hitbox, basically where you see the model is. So a blue square on the player, but a red square not there is bad, because this means you hit the server hitbox when you're not really aiming on the player, and when the red is on the player, but the blue isn't, this is probably worse, because this means you're aiming on the player, but it misses according to the server. The second to worst of all of specific situations is when you're rising to the peak of your jump. For some reason, the hitbox falls behind in every case. Drastically sometimes. Can this affect gameplay? Yep. Watch this. This was done with my laser gun, and the M4A1 for reference will only allow two shots in this jump, but it is possible then to aim reasonably on the head and miss both shots. This goes for the rest of the body also. You could argue that because of gun inaccuracy, this makes this not matter, but inaccuracy tends to hit where you aim at, so this could still be a big issue. At points perhaps, the whole top half of the head can be off, which is for sure a major difference that you can consistently see every time. The apex of the jump is pretty accurate, so that's something good to take away. Yay. When falling from the jump, again, the hitbox will lag behind. Considering the hitbox is shifted up compared to the model, this means a lot of the head will be registered as a chest shot, meaning a shot that should do the most damage to an armor opponent will now do the least. That's a big issue in my mind. The worst case of all, for sure, is when you're landing. There's a huge difference where the hitbox is just off. I'm not sure why. Next, let's look at running. Is it a problem? The thing with running though is that it doesn't appear to be consistent. It probably is, but I just can't see the thing affecting it if it works or not. From what I've seen, I think it happens when the view of the other player is offset from your head and when they're running diagonal, but I'm not sure what else to put. The whole point of this video isn't to show a solution, it's to show that there is a problem, with valid evidence. But all of this has been done with an offline server minus the landing jump. How bad is it then with ping? Well, I used net underscore fake lag 20, which came out to be around 50 to 60 milliseconds of ping, and redid the test. And it looked bad. Like, how have I lived with this bad? But then I tested it, and it actually made up for it pretty well, where when compared to the no lag situation, it seemed to happen at the same consistency. In conclusion, it seems that there is some problems with hit reg situations in CSGO that can be shown consistently, regardless of your lag. I'm not going to try and give answers on why this is, because I don't know that much about the inner workings of CSGO. Additionally, there's a lot of other clips that seem to have turning involved, but I wasn't able to get anything conclusive from this. In this video, I just hope to show you that there may be something wrong. And now you have an excuse like every time you lose a gunfight. Hit red. 